Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000. Let's look at Monkey's old bicycle she's had for years. Let's check it out together. Okay guys, I had mentioned in one of my previous videos about Monkey had a bicycle. I was thinking about putting an engine on it. Uh, she used to ride it. And uh, when she moved here, I don't know if she rode it when she moved here. But it's just been sitting out back. And it's been getting kind of rusted up. And the handlebars, you know, there's no reprieve for them. They need painted. The, the handle grips... Uh, this one's split right there, so it's going to need new handle grips. The seat is decent. It needs cleaned up, but it's it's fine. Uh, the tires seem to be okay, but what the fuck was that? What the hell it is? It's fucking chasing me. Palmetto bug. Uh, they're a little dry cracks, so probably going to need some tires or some cracking there. But I like, I like that she's got the white walls on it, both front and back. This is Westport, made by Murray. I'm not, I, I'm not sure what year it is. Uh, the chain's going to need oiled. Uh, there's some fading. I think, I'm pretty sure this might be faded. Uh, but it kind of looks cool like that. Again, some cleaning done. Uh, needs these uh, support bars straightened out for the fender. So let's uh, let's get this thing upside down. And there's a Murray Murray badge. Uh, they're not badges anymore. They used to have the badges on them, but. Uh, Looks like this might be a 2012. No. Let's see. It'd be. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, I think it's a 2012. 2003 I'm thinking uh, January 2nd of 03 I'm not sure about how Murray does theirs I'd have to check it out but <laughs> let's get this thing upside down let's oil the chain up see if the tires hold any air at all and uh, maybe we'll do some cleaning on it and see what she wants to do with it I know she had talked about getting that back out talked about me getting it rideable for her again and uh, riding it down here on the bike trail because it goes for like 40 miles covers three counties uh, and if she does that she's gonna want me to ride that with her but right now let's get it let's get it upside down check everything out
there's one. I think the tubes would be alright. I think the tires are just old and dry cracked. Hope nothing comes running out at me again on this one. I did get us in shade a little bit, so... going to need a tire for the back most definitely I show you here she can't ride around on that who knows maybe I'll get another junk bike and it'll have some tires on it right so let's get you over here Go ahead and oil this chain up. Just like we did on that other bike. I'm going to use we use a little transmission fluid. So I'm going to go ahead and get this chain all oiled up. That's going to need a little oil. The kickstand. So I'm going to go ahead and get this oiled up. And I'll show you how to straighten that fender. Now, I don't know how well you guys can see this. But right here there's a bend in this. Okay. And if I put that there you might be able to see it a little better. See the gap. Behind, between, be, between, behind, behind there. I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna try to squeeze that together like that until it gets better. Okay. Now this don't always work because this is rounded. If it was on the inside, I could cut this down and make it a little easier. But but it's rounded. So now. Once you bend metal, guys, it stretches. It gets longer. And a good experiment to do on something like this is take you a piece of coat hanger. Take you the straightest piece there is. Cut off, say, six inches. Make two six inches straight. Now you take one and you bend it. Bend it over, straighten it back out, and get it as straight as you can get it by by tweaking it. It takes a little bit, but get it straight, and then once you get it straight, measure it again, it'll be longer than the other one. Okay? Now, that's a little better, but as you can see down there, maybe, right? Right here, the tire's still hitting. So we're just going to bump it, and there you go. Now it looks like the wheel has a little, a little bend in it. Now you can take them bends out by adjusting the spokes. Uh, I don't have the, the little tool for that. So. I got the chain oiled up and it's soaking because there's one spot in this chain. I don't know if you can see that right there. That needs some work right there. 
see how it kind of goes up and down so I'm gonna mess with that a little bit more and then we'll flip it back up onto its wheels again okay what I've got here so I've got a little bit of steel wool it's real fine it used to be an SOS pad I can't find a new one so we must be out unless she moved them and I got this soapy water in here it's just a uh, dishwashing liquid and we'll dump that or dip that in there and we'll rub it on here and see what happens uh, like I said the handlebars will have to be painted I'll probably just take them off and paint them black but this will be alright now once you do this guys you're going to want to have some kind of even if it's sitting in the garage, you're going to want to have some kind of, uh, see, there you go. Look how nice that is. You're going to want to have some kind of, uh, like, uh, wax or polish on it. doesn't matter what kind. I don't have any car polish. So I'm just going to use this stuff. Scratch Denny. Maximum Strength Scratch Remover. So, I think... Yeah, this is just a, a polish. It was supposed, I did a review on this. It's supposed to take out scratches on your vehicle. I wasn't impressed with it. Uh, make scratches disappear. Well, I don't know, but this is what I'm going to use on it. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to keep doing that, and I'm going to get both the fenders looking good. Now these handlebars, as you can see, they're just, you know, they just need to be sanded and painted. You'll never get that back because... The chrome's actually gone, so you're wasting your time trying to clean something of that nature. Same way with the crank on the pedals. Uh, I'll probably just sand them and paint them. But let me get back on these fenders, and I'll show you the difference. Okay, guys, so what happened here? I went ahead and sanded the handlebars, shot some paint on them. I went to shut the camera off or went to hit the record button to stop recording and it started recording so I didn't record any of that but all I did was just sanded them off shot some black paint on them that's all that was done to this these handlebars here Did tape it up a little bit. Now I know what my haters are gonna say. Well, why didn't, why didn't you just put new handlebars on? Why didn't you take them off and do this, that, and the other? Well, it's a bicycle, guys. It's just a bicycle. I did clean it up. I did clean up the the pedals. Get you out of the sun here. And the sprocket a little bit. Uh, the fenders did turn out pretty good. Where you at? They're still pitted. I probably could have got them a little better than that. Whoops. The handlebars look better. And there's the bike. Now, of course, I did not clean the wheels and the tires. You can see them wheels down there, I think. They're pitted. I'll tell you why they're pitted. Because they're rusted. I'll tell you why I didn't clean the wheels and tires. Okay. Well, for my haters, I did not clean the wheels and tires because in order to do that, the best way to do it, if she decides she's going to keep this bicycle and going to put new tires on it for her. The tubes are fine. In order to put new tires on, I have to take the old tires off. In order to take the old tires off, I have to take the wheels off. When I take the wheels off and the old tubes and tires out of it, off the wheels then I will clean the wheels up see what they look like if they need painted I will sand them and paint them 
I'm not restoring this bicycle. I'm just cleaning it up in case she wants to ride it. Here's my thing. You go putting a bunch of money in something like this, you're not going to get no money out of it. You know, Let's say it turns out to be a $50 bike. If I have to put $50 into it to make it a $50 bicycle, we're not counting my time. Okay, that doesn't make sense to put $50 in something to sell it for 50 bucks, right? Now you got to think about your time. If she's going to keep it, no problem. Everybody says, well, your labor's free. No, it's not because you wouldn't do all this stuff. If somebody brought you this bike and said, do this stuff to it, you would have to charge them. Well, if I put $50 into it and all that labor to get $50 out of it, I just did all that work for them for free. I'm not making a dime. Everybody goes, well, it's worth more if you do that. Not necessarily. Nine times out of ten, as a matter of fact, it's not worth more. It sells faster. That's all it is. It's still a bicycle. It's not a 1958 Schwinn. It's, it's you know, it's just a Murray. It's a, you know, 2003, 2013, whatever. 2012, I don't know. Uh, it's... It, it's a Murray bicycle. I'm just cleaning it up in case she wants to ride it. Then, yeah, I will. What I would probably do with them wheels is sand them all off and uh, paint them with this paint called Steel Wheels. We used to use them on our Chevys a lot. You know, when you got the beauty rings and the center caps, you paint them with a steel wheel. It's called Steel Wheels. It's almost like a, a real light smoke gray. It looks real, real nice. And I would do the handlebars probably the same way. It's not a chrome, and I don't want it to be. The fenders are going to be fine. I waxed them. They're pitted a little bit, but again, it's a bicycle, okay? It's just something you're going to ride around. It's not a collectible by any means. It's not one of the bicycles that used to have the simulated gas tank with the horn and the lights. It's not one of those Schwinn's. It's not, it's not one of them. It's just a Murray. So, there's that. Another thing I want to touch on, you know, I mean, here a while back, you know, see, this guy was emailing me talking about how he's a filmmaker you know he's a filmmaker he don't consider himself a YouTube he's a creator slash filmmaker is the way he quoted this right so you know I'm an asshole but I tell it like it is that's why some people think I'm an asshole but I said okay uh, have I seen your films on uh, on Netflix no have I seen your films on HBO no if I seen your films on the History Channel, no. The Travel Channel, no. Where have I seen your films films at? Well, social media. What social media? What is the main social media I see your films on? Uh, YouTube. So you're a fucking YouTuber, just like me. The same place my films are on. So I'm a YouTuber. And if you call them YouTubers, oh, they get crazy. It's just like uh, Creator Studio it used to be YouTube Studio. It's creator studio now. Look, I'm not a creator. I'm not a filmmaker. I'm a YouTube. I'm a YouTuber. I take my home movies, pretty much, and put them on YouTube. I'm a YouTuber. Well, you created that film. No. I recorded me working on a bicycle and shared it with people. So anyway, guys, I'll give you another look at it, and we'll ride it up the driveway. So there it is. It's a it's a nice little bike, you know. It still needs, like I said, tires and something done with the wheels, at least cleaned up. It's a decent little bicycle, especially for her, you know. I mean, sure, it's a little faded. We call that patina. I did get that kink out of that chain. There's a little bit of one right 
Let me show you. Right there's a little bit of a kink. That had come out of it. Um, it was almost impossible to pedal before. So there you go. Sorry about the little rant, but I just got to get some things off my chest once in a while because I know haters are going to be hating. And they're always going to be that way and there's nothing we can do about it. But there's Monkey's little bicycle. I wouldn't trust her riding around on that back tire. You can see the splits in it probably right down there at the white wall. See the splits? Ooh. Right in there. Uh, the tubes are fine, just the tires are dry cracked. Um, if she decides she wants to keep it and I put new tires on it, I will go with another set of white walls. I'll put a little money into it for her if she's going to keep it, but not to resell. So, uh, there you go guys. Fixing up an old bicycle. I mean, technically it's rideable right now, I just wouldn't trust that back tire. I mean, it's not, I don't think it would blow out, but, you know, just not a good idea. This bike here, she did real good on that bike, guys. I'm proud of her on that, so I should be able to make a couple bucks on this because I doubt if I'll ever be able to ride it. I don't have a motor, I probably won't be able to ride anything anymore, but I'm going to work on that. So anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, if you're down here in Florida, stay cool. Okay? So, I mean, it's like 100 degrees right now. Um, so, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Again, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Y'all be cool. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Mm -hmm.